All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video reaction review, I guess. People wanted to hear my thoughts on the Walking Dead Honest Trailers. Trailer? good stuff so a good number of people went ahead and asked me to do a review or reaction i guess to the honest trailers from the walking dead youtube video if you guys don't know what this is i'm sure somebody out there watching this video doesn't basically honest trailers is a uh, series of videos i guess from screen junkies where basically what they do is they take a television series or movie or something and they kind of splice it cut it down and create a trailer of it uh, in what they call honest fashion, I guess, or honest, honestly. So it basically is a way for them to kind of make a trailer where a series or, or movie will poke fun, or the trailer will poke fun at it and sort of give the viewers some kind of an idea of what the series is about in a completely blatant and silly, honest way uh, with a bunch of uh, jokes kind of put in in the way it's cut. Like a lot of the uh, the scenes are really funny in the sequence in which they show them. Uh, really works well. So I'll put the link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. You can pause me if you want, check out the Honest Trailers trailer, and then come back to hear my reaction after. Okay, so this one's pretty difficult for me to go over because there's so many things that happen in the Honest Trailer trailer. It's only like five minutes long, but it's as dense as a trailer. So you've got all these different, you know, constantly flipping, flipping, flipping different jokes. So I went through, kind of made a list and go over basically the, the majority of the trailer. So first off, um, they essentially introduce The Walking Dead as being super inconsistent, <laughs> which, uh, I mean, I guess it depends what you mean exactly by that. Uh, yes, they've gone through a lot of showrunners. Yes, they've had a lot of trouble with the series in terms of that. And there's been a lot of change throughout the series. Um, but I think for the most part, it's been really interesting. It's been really good all the way through, even though there's been a lot of different locations, a lot of different, see, you know, like um, types of uh, scenery and different characters we've had over the seasons. I think that's probably a good thing, and I think that's probably going to help the show, uh, the longevity of the show overall, uh, so people won't get tired of it. Uh, because then later on, they kind of talk about the farm and and how how much they hated the farm, how boring it was. They kind of hint at, which um, which is kind of good that we're having a lot of moving around and, and different things happening. But um, I think for the most part. Even though it's a little bit more inconsistent than a lot of shows would be because they're very, uh, like each season is very similar, that type of thing. Like they've got a general feel and The Walking Dead really changes a lot because of the characters. Uh, the characters change, uh, environment changes, uh, even the production people change. So yeah, the show will change quite a bit. So that is, uh, I guess, uh, take it as you will. Um, then they basically, they say no one says zombie and they show everybody how they're using different names and then Maggie finishes off with mom. Um... For this, it's like, well, in their world, zombies not supposed to exist. Is that stupid? Is that not stupid? To us, maybe it seems that way, but they kind of want us to take that world 100% realistic for what what it is. The concept of zombie doesn't exist in that world, which, I mean, is that stupid? Is it not? I, I don't know. I, it's kind of funny the way they splice it. I personally don't think it's stupid. I, I think it makes sense, I guess. Um, then we hear a <laughs> joke about about basically uh, how it's kind of like they're living in like medieval times. You got horseback, crossbow, and then they throw in the uh, Hyundai Tucson. <laughs> it's just funny. And it's all like super clean. And I got to admit, that's funny. I, I like that quite a bit because I do remember that. And uh, I, I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse in, in like modern day, I guess. So I, I to me, it didn't stick out that much because I kind of figured, well, there would be cars like that. It's just kind of funny the way they splice it again. Uh, the way they cut it, it, it adds to the comedy. It makes adds to the legitimacy of what they're saying based on what they're showing. So it's kind of funny. Uh, then they talk about uh, the meet the group and uh, Rick. <laughs> this is one of my favorites, how he stands by his decisions. Now you want to talk inconsistent? I can't argue with that. Um, at one time they, they show him like he's telling Carl he's not going to leave. Then he's telling Lori he has to leave. Then he's he's doing this and he's saying the next thing, you know, this isn't, this isn't a democracy anymore. We're going to vote <laughs> back and forth and we don't kill the living. And then my favorite is it shows David Toy in the bar and he's just blam, blam. <laughs> just blasting him so so that's pretty funny I got, I got to admit as well um 
Then we have, uh, they talk about Shane, best friend stuff, how he slept with his wife, left him for dead in the zombie apocalypse, all that, so that's funny. Um, we have uh, Daryl, they call him the sexiest redneck in Georgia, I guess. <laughs> and Glenn, this is probably my favorite one, where it says, Glenn uses the zombie apocalypse to date way out of his league. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I just, I really love that one. I think that's awesome. And then we have uh, Andrea, who basically, nobody wants nobody wants to be stuck with Andrea. They show her uh, freaking out when one zombie comes at her. Ooh, and she falls over another time when she almost kills Daryl. And then she says after, I shot Daryl. <laughs> Like, uh, that one's good too with Andrea. Then they talk about Lori. Uh, pawns off her kid constantly. And I was like, wow, I didn't realize how much she pawned off Carl. Especially when they play it, you start to realize, like, wow, she pawns him off a lot. Uh, you see Carl? Uh, and then crashes his car on an empty road. <laughs> I love that. Now, I don't remember that scene. I don't think it was an empty road, was it? <laughs> but anyway, it's it's funny nevertheless, whether it was or not. I don't remember way back to, uh, you know, season. That was season two, right? Oh, that's a, that was a while ago, a couple of years ago. Uh, I have seen it recently, but I don't remember that scene. Um, then we have T-Dog. They, they say T-Dog, and it just shows him getting, like, devoured on the neck, just bitten on the neck real bad. So that's funny, too. Uh, Merle, Andrea, and it counts off a list of other survivors that have been killed off the show, like, supporting cast. Uh, the governor and uh, they call him the nicest mass murderer since uh, the villain, the teddy bear from Toy Story 3. If you guys have seen that, you'll get the reference, which is pretty funny about how he lets people join the community, but he doesn't let them leave, basically. Well, Andrew, yeah, I guess that's true. He doesn't, does he? Same thing with Michonne he sent Merle after. Then there's the, like I said, the farm joke uh, with season two and how boring it was, basically. Um, and then it's starring, and then it goes through a bunch of different things. One of them is group debate. I thought that was funny. You have the group, and they're uh, debating about Randall. <laughs> So I did. I remember that. I like that the way they show it. Dale face. Oh man, I laughed so hard when they showed Dale face, because <laughs> I never, I never realized how he makes this like overacting like stare face, you know, <laughs> just like that. And it's so true because when you see it, you remember it. You're like, oh yeah, that's right. He did do that quite a bit. So that's good. Ugly cry face. I especially like here the Daryl ugly cry face when he's like that. It's just so uncharacteristic of how we normally see Daryl. It's funny. Uh, and then Rick's hat, uh, gun safety, <laughs> bite checks, did you get bit? I remember Morgan's from that one for some reason. I don't know why. Um, stuff and things, that's funny. Uh, and then finishing off, it has Shane rubbing his head. And it shows him rubbing his head 11 times. <laughs> I counted. And uh, my favorite is the one where he's walking away and he's in the background and he rubs his head. <laughs> it's like, what? I never noticed. Well, I kind of like I kind of noticed it was a mannerism of his, but I didn't notice he he rubbed his head like all the time. <laughs> so it's pretty good too. Kind of a knock on uh, uh, John Berthold there. So it's pretty funny. Um, it's a good little video I think for YouTube. I think it got like five like five and a half million views, something like that. So it was obviously very popular, and uh, it's just kind of funny to see them poke fun at at the walking dead and of course i i love the walking dead so some of them i don't necessarily uh, agree with the criticism but for the sake of the video and and for it to be funny be entertaining that's that's part of why they do it whether or not it makes sense for the whole a lot of it does though a lot of it really does make sense so they talk about shane and being you know rick's normal best friend stuff so uh good stuff uh let me know what your guys favorite jokes are from it mine probably are glenn dating out of his league Lori crashing the car on an empty road and uh, just Dale face, just Dale face. You know? <laughs> this is great. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, I may do one for bad lip reading. If you guys missed my review of the epic rap battles, uh, Rick Grimes versus Walter White, uh, link will be in the description. It's also in the channel if you want to just look through the channel. I uh, released it uh, last week. And uh, if you want to see the bad lip, <laughs> let me do a reaction to bad lip reading. Uh, please, uh, please let me know. And uh, I may film one and post it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the Honest Trailers. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's uh, definitely uh, something worth watching for five or six minutes if you watch The Walking Dead all the way through. They haven't. Uh, they did it before season four started. So it doesn't include season four, but it includes all the way up to there. And it's, it's pretty damn funny if you ask me. Anyway, I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you at the next one. This is Trev, as always. Same peace.